हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस न्यू टॉपिक एंड द नेम ऑफ द टॉपिक इज एक्सक्रेटरी सिस्टम ग्रेड फोर सी बी एस ई साइंस सो इन दिस टॉपिक वी विल लर्न अबाउट एक्सक्रीशन एंड द एक्सक्रेटरी सिस्टम सेकेंड द प्रोसेस ऑफ एक्सक्रीशन थर्ड द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ द एक्सक्रेटरी सिस्टम एंड फोर्थ वन वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट किडनी स्टोन सो today we will see first the introduction of this uh, lesson what is excretion so student we have learned earlier that our body gets the energy to work from the food we eat and the liquids we drink your body needs water to survive if you want more than a couple of days without water you would be very thirsty and your cells would would not be also be keep functioning but not all the water is okay to drink before you fill up your glass the water must be filtered to remove impurities that could hurt you your body has a similar filtering system called the excretory system and the excretory system filters the blood to remove waste that could be harmful to the body so today first we will discuss about what is excretion excretion is a process by which metabolic waste is eliminated from an organism it means that removal of waste from the body is called excretion excretion is the removal of toxic substance and metabolic waste these are harmful for our body animals and human excrete various metabolic waste through various specialized organs like skin lungs liver kidneys and intestine the blood in our body absorbs the useful parts from the food and liquids that we take in the unused food and water become waste left over from foods are solid waste left over from the water and other liquids we drink are the liquid waste various processes taking place inside our body also produce waste so dear student that removal of waste from the body is called excretion so the next we will see about what is mean by human excretory system we get rid of the waste from the air that we have taken in by breathing it out we get rid of solid waste by pooping and liquid waste by peeing and spitting we have learned that the digestive system gets rid of most of the solid waste from our body the organ system which removes the liquid waste from our body is called the excretory system so what is mean by excretory system the excretory system is a collection of organs with the main function of excretion or the process of disposing waste from the body the organ system which removes the liquid waste from our body is called excretory system so this is the diagram of excretory system so today we have to learn about this excretory system what are the important parts are involved in this excretory system so let's we will discuss about different organs include in the excretory system first is a, a pair of kidneys second a pair of ureters third one a urinary bladder and fourth one urethra so this is the figure of excretory system both these are the pictures of kidneys a pair of kidneys second that pipe like structure we called as the pair of ureters third one this is the urinary bladder and fourth one this is the urethra so the main parts of this system are kidney ureter second that is the urinary bladder we call this as a ureter opening and this is the bladder neck and the last part this is the urethra so we will discuss about one by one all these organs present inside the excretory system so let's see the first one a pair of kidneys kidney are bean shaped structure located on 
either side of the back bone and are protected by the ribs and muscles of the back. They are about the size of our fist. Each human adult kidney has length of 10 to 12 cm, a width of 5 to 7 cm and weights around 120 to 170 gram. So, the size of our kidney is about the size of our fist. Second one, a pair of ureter. It is a pipe-like structure. A thin muscular tube called the ureter comes out of each kidney. So this is the picture of kidneys and the pair of ureter it is a pipe like structure. One ureter is attached to the each kidney. So this is the diagram of pair of kidneys and ureter. Actually it is the diagram of total excretory system. In that these are the figures of the pair of kidneys and this is the pipe like structure we call as the ureter. From that ureter, that urine carries from the kidneys to the urinary bladder. The next, next part is the urinary bladder. It is a sac like structure. It is a bag like structure that expands as it fills with urine. It is a balloon shaped when filled. This we call as a sac like structure that stores urine until maturation. Micturation is the expulsion of urine from the body. We can't be called as the removal of urine from the body. The urine is carried to the bladders through the ureter. The next one, this is the figure of urinary bladder. Next part we are going to see about the urethra. This the this it is a pipe like structure at the end of the bladder it opens outside the body this is the urethra this is the tube arises from the urinary bladder it arises from the urinary bladder and helps to expel or helps to remove urine out of the body it is a pipe like structure at the end of bladder and it opens outside the body so these are the pair of kidneys these is the these are the ureters this is the urinary bladder and this is the last part that is the urethra it opens outside the body so these are the main parts involved in the excretory system so students let's we will discuss about different excretory organs helps in excretion as the blood travels throughout the body it collects more and more waste. The kidneys work like a filter. So today first we will see about the kidneys. Blood collects more and more waste from our body. So this is the pair of kidneys. Kidneys work like a filter. When the blood enters the kidneys, they filter the blood which blood passes through them. Kidneys send all the waste to the bladder through the ureters in the form of urine or we called as the pee. The urinary bladder store this urine when the bladder is almost a half full. We feel like a peeing. During peeing or we called as a urinating, the urine from the bladder is thrown out through the urethra. In this way, liquid waste is removed from the blood and thrown out of our body as a urine. The kidneys help filter waste out of the blood and make new rare blood cells mixed or bone strong. That the purification of blood by removal of waste products is the most important function of the kidneys. So students, next we will discuss the different excretory organs helps in excretion. Organs like Skins, lungs are also involved in removing excess water and salts from the body. Let us see how this happens. The first one that is the excretion through the skin. Skin is the largest excretory organ in our body. The liquid waste from our body is thrown out in the form of sweat. It is made up of extra water and salts from our body. Second one that is the excretion through lungs. Lungs is the primary respiratory organs. 
So this is the picture of how x crystal through the skin, or we call it the, this is the figure of sweating. Second, the excretion through the lungs. The lungs absorb the oxygen from the air we breathe. This is the picture of breathing. We breathe in and out with the help of our lungs during breathing. The lungs also absorb the oxygen from the air we breathe. At the same time, carbon dioxide is thrown out of the body from the lungs as a waste. So we call that the excretion through lungs. So the skin and the lungs both are the important part to remove the excess water and the salts from the body. So next student, now the time of train by train. First one, name the part of the excretory system that stores urine. The correct answer is bladder. Yes, urinary bladder. Next, what is the shape of the kidneys? Yes, the correct answer is bean shaped. Next one. Name the organs that involve in removing the excess water and salts from the body. The answer is our lungs, skin and kidneys. So next we will discuss about the applied part. The excretory system removes waste from our body. If it does not work properly, the liquid waste collect inside the body. This may lead to swelling of the body, especially on the legs, hands and face. If our kidney don't work properly, the color and smell of the urine may change and we may feel tired or we may start vomiting. So this may lead to swelling of the body, especially on the legs, hands and the face. Our skin and lungs also perform excretion. We should take care of them. So we should bath regularly to take care of our skin. We should keep it clean using a soap and water. We must do breathing exercise to keep the lungs healthy. We must protect our lungs from dust and smoke by wearing a mask when we go outside. So these are the important parts that we must do the breathing exercise to keep the lungs healthy and we should bath regularly to take care of the skin. So we have to take care of all these organs. So the next part is horse. So today we will discuss about the important thing that is the kidney stone. Have you heard about kidney stone? They are the solid pieces of salts or minerals formed inside the kidneys. They vary in size. When they are small in size, like a grain or salt or sugar, they do not cause any problem. But they come out of the body along with the urine. But when they are the size of a pea, they block the ureter and this causes a pain. That kidney stones are a solid masses made up of crystals. Kidney stones usually originate in your kidney. Sometimes when you have too much of certain waste and not enough fluid in your blood, these waste can build up and stick together in your kidneys. These clumps of waste are called kidney stone. So this is the picture of kidney stone. That kidney stones varies in size. How do kidney stones develop in kidney? That kidney stones are formed due to excess salts and minerals in the urine. And this may happen if we do not drink enough water. So, we should drink enough water to avoid the formation of stone. So, it's a very important that is the, the disease that is the kidney stone. So, if we have to remove this, then we have to drink more and more water. So, students, thank you everyone. If you like this video, please like share and subscribe.